everyone i hope you guys are doing good and staying safe welcome to yet another tutorial by simply code in today's session we'll be discussing about mongodb aggregation concepts now when you first start working with mongodb you will most likely use the find method or command for a variety of queries now however as your queries become more complex you will need to learn more about aggregation in mongodb which is used to perform various complex operations so in this tutorial we'll be covering the fundamentals of creating aggregate queries in mongodb and how to use various expressions in mongodb aggregation and furthermore we'll introduce the most important stages of aggregation pipeline along with examples of how to apply each one to this pipeline stages but before we begin if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed already consider getting subscribed to our channel simply code to stay updated with all the latest tech content and hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us so without any further ado let's get started with today's topic all right firstly let us understand what is aggregation in mongodb mongodb processes the data records in the database during an aggregation operation and returns a single computed result it actually groups multiple documents present in a collection applies an aggregation operation to it and then provides the user with a single result now mongodb offers a wide range of aggregation operations just like many other database systems in relational databases as well mongodb being a no sql database also provides with the same functionality this enables you to filter data as you might with a query as well as grouping data sorting data into a particular order or reorganizing for returning the documents in the collection now this is just similar to the sql wherein we use the group by clause in our aggregation function with the help of certain uh, operations like count average sum minimum and value to perform complex aggregation operations in the similar way mongodb aggregation is also similar to that of the sql aggregation method that we follow so i hope you understood what is aggregation in mongodb let us now understand why we use aggregation now data from different sources is gathered by an aggregation method which are then processed to a single outcome now to perform an aggregate function in a relational database the database management system typically extracts data from multiple rows of the same table but in a document oriented database like mongodb the database will gather information from various documents in the same collection so it basically group values from multiple documents together to a single resultant value now next one is it fetches a lot of nested data to perform complex operations now when using a database management system you must run an operation known as a query right each time you want to retrieve data from database however qu queries only return the information that is already present in the database you will frequently need to carry out another type of operation which is known as aggregation in order to analyze your data in order to find patterns or other information about the data so if there are if there is a complex operation that is needed for the data that is present in the uh, documents you need aggregation and finally it filters and sort documents and analyze data changes now uh, mongodb being an sql no sql database the data model will frequently change as the data that is being you know uh, inserting into the uh, database might change over the time so in order to analyze this unstructured data it becomes quite important that you uh, uh, make a proper you know filtration and sorting of these documents to get a proper insights for your businesses and as well as your you know requirements so in that case aggregation can be quite useful which simplifies you know the complexity of the query that you have written and fetches the data in no time so these are some of the main reasons on why we use aggregation now aggregation uh, in mongodb is performed using uh aggregation pipeline stages with con consists of four different uh, you know methods the first one is match next we have group next we have sort and finally we have project these four combinedly are known as aggregation pipeline stages which perform aggregation as per the requirement now firstly when you take a collection and the first thing you need to is if you want to match only a certain fields you know within your documents to perform aggregation then you can use the match uh, method next we have the group now just like the group by clause in sql you can use the group uh, you know function here as well in order to group all the similar or uh, the related uh, type of data in your you know uh, pres present in your collections that is the, the data that is, that is present in your documents to 
in order to retrieve the similar kind of data you can use the group next sort again sorting can be done in any other way like from ascending order or descending order next we have the project as we discussed earlier in a previous tutorial project is used to uh, you know remove the unnecessary fields that you want in a resultant set and finally after you know matching all the four uh, pipeline stages then you get the resultant output so let us understand this uh, with an example wherein we'll discuss how aggregation works in mongodb now as discussed earlier the firstly the match condition uh, you know specifies only the related documents that you want to uh, consider so for example i have a collection name orders here and i'm performing uh, you know an aggregation uh, operation here so first i've mentioned the match for status a so i have like four documents here if you see in the orders like for dif four different customer ids we have the amount and status now for, i want to retrieve only uh, those documents whose status is a so for that i'm using the match command here so match command only retrieve the one that you have specified here which is status a so we have only three records that have the status as field and their value is a so we have sorted initially with the match command next we want to group the uh, uh, values in the order of their let's say ids and then so if you look at here we have two similar ids which is a123 and b212 so what group does is it will match all the similar and related uh, fields together and produce a result so you can see the a123 and b21 b212 are separated into a different groups and finally what i'm doing is i'm sorting i'm sorting and i'm applying an operation here with sum so what it does is it will basically calculate the total amount here so if you look at uh, the first id a123 the amount is 500 and 250 so the resultant output would be 750 and finally we have the customer id of b212 the amount is just 200 so in this way the aggregation pipeline works in a methodology of wherein it matches the values that is the similar values from the documents then you can even group the data that you want to uh, show in your resultant output and you can perform various operations uh, using the aggregate functions like some minimum average with the help of sorting as well so this is basically how aggregation works in mongodb so and finally as discussed earlier uh, just like similar to sql we have the same uh, five or the main five uh, aggregation operations in SQL, which is the first one is sum. It basically adds up the values of every documents of a collection. Next, we have the average, which computes the average value of every document of a collection. Next, we have minimum or min, returns the minimum of all values from the collection. And next, we have max, which is opposite to that of minimum, minimum which returns the maximum of all values from within the collection. And finally, we have an additional, uh, you know, operation which is a push operation since mongodb is non a relational database we also work on the array of elements so in order to add the values to an array in the associated document within uh, a collection you can use the push operation as well now this might be a bit confusing for you guys now so let us jump into mongodb shell for execution part where we'll, we'll perform uh, different operations using the aggregation pipeline stages and see how they are getting implemented and also perform a detailed analysis on the uh, data uh, the collection that we have and we will uh, bring out some inferences using the aggregation operations using uh, various expressions like some average minimum and maximum so without any further delay let us jump into mongodb shell so as you can see we have opened the mongodb shell uh, command prompt line so let us just uh, use the command show dbs to find out the database present so we have different uh, databases like admin config local and simply code one we'll use the simply code one as usual so use write the database name use simply code one now let us see the collections that are present in the table so we have the employee collection again so let us write the command using the db dot find db dot collection name dot find which is employee dot find so it will retrieve all the values that are present in this collection so we have our different fields like employee id first name last name email phone number hiring date job id salary manager id and department id so all right let us now perform the aggregate uh, operations in a sequential way firstly we'll look at the match aggregation uh, you know stage where it will match the related fields that we want in a resultant set now let's say if i want to match the department id who's uh, all the employees who belong to the department id let's say 100 so in that case the following query would be db dot employee dot mention the aggregate keyword here which is a must otherwise it will throw an error uh, 
uh, open the parenthesis and mention the square brackets and use the dollar symbol to write uh, the statement for match and put the colon and open the parenthesis and mention the department id uh, field which is uh, on which we are basically you know uh, matching the records so mention it again the colon and within single quotes mention the department id name so since we have taken as 100 uh, i'm just taking it close the uh, flower brackets two times and again mention the square bracket once again and close the parenthesis all right so this is the uh, basically the query that we have written here which is db.employee.aggregate and we are using the match aggregation method here wherein we are uh, matching all the records of the employees whose department id belongs to 100 so let us now enter uh, i think there is an error here so we had a error in the syntax guys uh, so as you can see in the output we can see only those records of the employees wherein it is showing uh, the records whose department id is 100 so we have the employee id 108 109 110 111 and 112 113 and all of them have their employee uh, department id as sorry or uh, department id is 100 so i hope you understood this so let us not uh, go through the next stage of aggregation pipeline with, wherein we'll group uh, the values now so for that the following query would be db dot employee dot aggregate which is the keyword again uh, open the parenthesis and mention the double square brackets open the flower brackets and use the dollar symbol again uh, write the group keyword and open the flower brackets again and mention the id here so i'll explain why we are taking this here again so firstly let us just write the you know command and then i'll explain to you guys that why, why we are uh, implementing that so i want to group all the basically the department ids right so i'm taking department id so mention the dollar symbol and mention the field name which is the department id close the flower brackets twice mention uh, a double bracket square bracket as well so when you enter uh, you can see the list of all the department ids that are present in our collection so we have various i uh, department ids like 60 10 30 70 40 110 150 20 98 and so on so now you might have a doubt that why we are using the id field here now we are using the group stage to group the input documents by the specified you know id expression which returns a single document containing the all the cumulative values of all the uh, department ids that we have taken here so in this above example only the group stage is specified in the pipeline whereas the group uses the id field to calculate the uh, value for all the input documents as a whole so the expression id uh, colon uh, the dollar symbol department id creates a distinct group on the field department name since we don't uh, we didn't calculate any accumulated values in our document it returns the distinct values of department uh, ids that are present in the table or in the uh, document so in this way you can use the group aggregation method as well so this is how you can use the match and group stages wherein you can combine both these as well so next let us look at how to create an aggregation uh, operation using one of the expression that we have like count average sum or minimum now let's say if i want to count the total employees in a particular department in that case i'll basically use the match statement wherein it will uh, group all the uh, values of the employees whose department id is in a particular uh, you know uh, value and then it will count the total number of employees in that group so for that the following query would be db dot employee dot aggregate uh, open the open the brackets and uh, square brackets as well and then mention the flower back brackets and then use the dollar match uh, group stage wherein we are matching uh, you know the department id let's say department id of uh, 60 
So in that case, it would be department ID. I am taking the value as 60, mention in the double quotes and close the brackets, put a comma and then basically we are counting, right? So I'll use the count function here. So put the dollar sign, enter the count keyword and let's say the statement would be total employees in department 60 right so mention the uh, put these close the uh, brackets as well square brackets second So when you press the enter in a result and output, it states that total employees in department 60 is 5. So similarly, you can check for uh, various other departments as well. So let us just uh, verify if it's showing correctly or not. I'll just copy paste this. And let's say for 100, I want the total number of employees present in the uh, department 100. So in that case, I'll just mention it. I'll just change the values and let us now print the enter. So as you can see in the resultant set or in the output, you can see the total number of employees in department 100 is 6, wherein we have the total number of employees in department 60 is 5. So in this way, you can use the various aggregation stages using the match, group and as well as sort as well uh, and perform various aggregation operations like sim, uh, sum, aggr uh, minimum, maximum as well. So I think we have covered most of the concepts that we have discussed in our you know, tutorial. So that brings us to the end of today's session, guys. I hope you've understood uh, what aggregation methods and how they are used in MongoDB. Thank you for watching the video, guys. If you found this tutorial informative and helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any further queries regarding any of the topics covered in today's session, feel free to let us know in the comment section below and a team of experts will be more than happy to help resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, stay safe and keep coding.